teaching you how to make painted pine cone flowers. Here's what you'll need. You'll need pine cones. They can be scented or unscented. They can also be ones that you find from outside. You'll need a bristle brush. You'll need paint. You can almost use any kind of paint that you have around the house. It just can't be watercolor. You'll need some sort of palette for your paint. Uh, I have an artist paint palette here. If you have a plastic or a paper plate at home, if you have a, a plastic cup, anything like that's fine. If you want to cut your flowers in half, you're going to need a sturdy pair of scissors or some sort of pliers. And you're going to want some sort of decoration for your flowers for when they're done. So I found a table tray that I garnished with some eucalyptus leaves. A couple of things to note before we get started. If you are going to forage for your pine cones, uh, just make sure that you give them a good shake outside to try to find any critters that may be lurking in the scales. Uh, if you are going to use scented pine cones like I am, the fragrant oil won't interfere with the paint, so you don't have to worry about that. If you are going to wash them, you have to make sure that your pine cones are completely dry before you start painting them. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to take your palette and whatever color paint you're working with. You might want to give it a good shake first. Something to note that pine cones may look small and they might look like they don't need a lot of paint, but you don't realize how much paint you're going to need until you try to paint in between all the little scales. So uh, I would start with a generous amount at first. You're going to take your pine cone, and I found what works best is if you hold it from the bottom and you take your brush and you paint upwards like this. You're able to see how much you're getting on the sides, and also if you're looking at it from down, you can see what you need to get in the scales. And this is where having the bristle brush comes into play because if you were trying to use like a sponge brush on this, the sponge would just get ripped apart from all the scales. The bristles allow you to really get in between the scales. Okay? So if you paint up like this, it allows you to get all of the sides pretty quickly and with less amount of paint. You're just going to use a lot of your paint when you're trying to get in between the scales. So for my pine cone flowers, I'm making roses because I had uh, pink and white. I thought it would um, go with the eucalyptus and I thought it was perfect for springtime. But it really comes down to any paint that you have around the house. If you have yellow and black, you can make a Black Eyed Susan. If you have vibrant purples and, and yellows and pinks and oranges, you can make colorful uh, Gerber daisies. It's really anything that you want.
pine cones have completely dried, it's time to start decorating. So gather everything that you have and just start dispersing your pine cones in any way you want. You can use anything from the tray like I'm using to a decorative plate, uh, also depending on the kind of flowers that you're painting. It's entirely up to you. Thank you for joining me today. We can't wait to see you in our building soon. But until then, stay well and continue to visit the library's website at www.smithlib.org for more programs and resources.